Mabuhay po sa ating lahat at magandang hapon po. Welcome to the first part of our lecture series for the National Arts Month 2022. I am Ms. Juliana Alvarida, once again, your Master of Ceremonies for today. Our first ever topic for the lecture series will surely touch everyone's heart as it connects us in ways that normal communication cannot express. All the emotions harmonize with sound to deliver a beautifully vocalized art form. It has been an essential part of everyone's culture all around the globe and of course to us Filipinos. To start off this program, we will have our prayer to be led by Mr. Mark Robin Pitabad. Dear God, thank you for your great love and blessing over our lives. Thank you that your favor has to end when it lasts for our entire lifetime. Forgive us for sometimes forgetting that you are intimately acquainted with all of our ways, that you know what concerns us, that you cover us as with a shield. We ask for your guidance so that we might walk fully in your blessing and goodness today. Father, keep us physically safe and guard our hearts and minds from pride and selfishness. Keep love at the forefront of our minds today and the guiding light for all we set out to accomplish and celebrate. Help us to embrace and enjoy the life that you've given us to live. Establish the work of our hands and bless with all that you've given us to do in this world. We pray that you would make our way perfect. Thank you very much, Sir Tabada, for leading our prayer for today. To formally initiate our lecture series, may I call our diligent Mapimilia Master Teacher, Mrs. Mary Grace M. Lastra, to formally give her opening remarks. 
Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to all. I am Mary Grace M. Lastra, and on behalf of the Manuel G. Araulio High School, I would like to thank our supportive principal, Ms. Maria Eva S. Nacion, Assistant Principal, Mr. Mark Hill Tabor, our diligent MAPI head, Mr. Augusto Baldos, MAPI teachers, fellow teachers, distinguished guest speakers, dear students, and parents for gracing this virtual school celebration of National Arts Month 2022. It is my pleasure to welcome all our eminent guest speakers who generously given their time to share their expertise, knowledge, and vast experience with around your community. Every year, we are celebrating February as National Arts Month to highlight the artistic brilliance of the Filipinos. It is an essential platform to foster understanding for the arts and bring out a profound respect for our cultures and traditions. This year's theme, Sini ng Pag-asa, strives to remind Filipinos that art plays an important role in our daily lives, even amid the ongoing health crisis. As a source and representation of resilience, as well as a constant innovative response to the pandemic, natural disasters, and other community certainties, we acknowledge art as a means and symbol of hope. In line with this, our lecture series will be collated into categories that represent the wider arts spectrum, such as music, painting, sculpture, dance, literature, theater, and film. I am delighted to say that even in this pandemic, a series of exciting things are set to happen that we can still enjoy from the comforts of our own homes. So sit back and may we all enjoy a meaningful and fruitful session and gain knowledge through our lecture series. Thank you and mabuhay our audience. Thank you very much from Lastra for your inspiring words. Your guidance helps us remember the core objective of the National Arts Month theme. Now, to the main event of this program, may I call one of our esteemed master teachers, Mrs. Jenny Rose G. Selly, to introduce our research speaker to the first topic of our lecture series. Mayong hapon, Arroyans, dear teachers, parents, and visitors. Today's lecture, we will get to know about the historical significance, characteristics, and creative compositions in Philippine music. We are so fortunate to have with us today a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in music education, and a cum laude from the Philippine Normal University, Manila. He is currently pursuing his Master of Arts in Education degree at the same university. He was also conferred an honorary degree as Doctor of Philosophy in Education from Theofani University, Haiti, in March 2021. He also obtained a professional certificate in educational research at the European International University, France, in 2020. His research work focuses on action research, art, assessment and evaluation, material development, educational research, and music. He has presented papers at institutional, local, and international conferences and published research articles in local, international, and Scopus Index journals. At present, he is a full-time faculty in the Senior High School Department at Spiritus Santo Parochial School of Manila, Incorporated. He teaches research courses and serves as a reviewer and editorial board member of various international journals. Please welcome with a warm virtual applause, Mr. Almighty C. Tabuena. Before we proceed to our lecture for this day, I would like to share a particular quote from one of the prominent Filipino song composers who was given a Cultural Achievement Award in popular music. He said, 
you may be forgiven for lack of knowledge, but not for lack of courage. This was said by Miguel Mike Velarde Jr. during his interview with Professor Helen Sampson, published in 1976. You may be forgiven for lack of knowledge, but not for lack of courage. But how do we strive for courage? In such trying times, music and art have been our salvation. Over two years have passed since the Philippines imposed three community quarantines until today. There is still concern that COVID-19 will spread and threaten the lives of thousands of workers. The healthcare system will collapse once a percentage of its employees are infected. Authorities say thousands of OFWs are still in quarantine and some are still on cruise ships docked in Philippine ports. Years ago, a repatriated foreign worker hung to herself in a state facility, another recently jumped off a building in another country. Brought about by this pandemic, it has caused poverty and mental distress. Of course, music is a major source of inspiration and strength. When the world needs little love, many people were quick to offer a song, and it appears that there is one for every situation. sunrise and arguably the most breathtaking one marks a good morning. But again, what nourishes the Filipinos, especially those living in the slums, what continues to drive a nation forward even when its future is uncertain. So, we are here. I'm sharing with you my lecture titled The Secrets of Hope and Faith, Resilience in Philippine Music as the Country's Unique Culture. Before we begin, Presidential Proclamation Number 683 issued by then President Corazon Aquino in 1991 declares February of each year as National Arts Month to celebrate artistic excellence and pay tribute to the uniqueness and diversity of Filipino heritage and culture. This year's theme, Sining ng Pag-asa, seeks to recognize the arts as a source and expression of hope as demonstrated by the creative ways in which we respond to the effects of the pandemic, natural disasters, and other social realities, as well as the arts' role in improving our community life as Filipinos. In keeping with the theme, our topic will open your heart, soul, and mind to the, uh, to the fact that Philippine music is incomparably rich. Most Filipinos, however, are unaware of this wealth. There is an essential need to bring Philippine music closer to our people. A strong identification with our own music is one important factor in bringing our people together or unifying the nation. <coughs> From the questions earlier, what nourishes to the Filipinos, especially those living in the slums, what continues to drive a nation forward, even when its future is uncertain? Another scenario is World War II, when bombs utterly destroyed the country. Our homes and churches have been turned down, but the war never destroyed our nation's fate. Father Horacio de la Costa, a Jesuit historian, compared the war-torn Philippines to a pauper with two precious jewels. In his essay, Jewel and the Pauper, he stated that the Philippines has two great treasures, faith and music.
before we recover. If the battle is won, how then do we face each other? But as poor as we are, we still have something. This pauper among the nations of the earth hides two jewels in her rugs. One of the Jesuit historian. Music is very important to Filipinos. Our songs are higher than the number of people who died as a result of the pandemic. The current situation has not prevented choirs and musicians from collaborating via technology to perform breathtaking compositions. Behind using karaoke, even when food and testing kits are scarce, we resort to social media to, to express ourselves by dancing to the tune of TikTok music as an example. Our souls are soothed by music, our melodies not only distract our minds, which are already burdened by the loss of a loved one or the loss of a job. Our music, on the other hand, has become a powerful source of hope and good memories. It reminds us that things will improve and that we will be able to visit and spend time with our loved ones again one day. Our hymns, on the other hand, are not just for fun. They serve as a springboard for prayer, just, our, just as our melodies serve as expressions of faith. Faith gives meaning to all of the suffering we are facing as a nation right now. Churches may be closed, but we've, we've brought them into our homes. We are praying more than we have in the past. We are thinking about the meaning of life and death than ever before. Huwag kang mamba is a Tagalog hymn composed by Father Manalim Francisco S.J. about God's infinite love for men. Also a song of encouragement and hope for us as we face obstacles along the way. Our grief and anxiety are washed away by faith. It causes us to see the needs of others, encouraging us to step aside outside of our comfort zone. It liberates us from our egocentric tendencies. There are songs that celebrate or depict our struggles hopes and dreams for Filipino identity and sense of nationhood. Being Filipino, music for national identity. The 
Philippine struggle for freedom, identity, and dignity. for freedom, identity, and dignity dates back to the 16th century when Spanish colonization began. In 1898, the Filipinos were the first Asian peoples to fight and win a war against Western colonialism in Asia. We were also Asia's first constitutional republic, though only discernible among a minority. Thus, a subculture, a commitment to one's country, and pride in being Filipino are as alive today as they were in the past. And this devotion has always been well served by the nation's musical expressions, particularly the Kundiman, a song of devotion to a selfless and noble cause. As in the songs Bayan Ko, Silinang Baliwag, and this music sa sariling bayan, the Kundiman has always embodied the Filipinos' intense and lofty patriotism. The Kundiman is a tenderly lyrical song in a moderately slow, triple, meter with melodic phrases that frequently end and end in quarter and half note values. It is primarily a song of selfless devotion to a loved one, the motherland, a spiritual figure, an infant, a lofty cause, or a compassionate object. All of these Filipino music cultures are not only alive and current, they are also distinct in terms of concept, form, and style. Each represents a uniquely Filipino way of life and is expressive of a subculture's experiences. Understanding these music cultures allows us to be better, to better understand ourselves. Philippine music as hope for the Filipino people. In this part of the lecture, I surveyed some of my students regarding how Philippine music or music in general gives hope amidst the pandemic. And this are their uh, responses. In this time of pandemic wherein I felt alone at some point during my lowest of times and my greatest of times, music was there all along with me. With the help of its lyrics, it made my spirit uplift and gave encouragement, especially when things got tough as if, as if it was imprinted to adjust the moods in our lives. 
artists can create meaningful music that people can relate to. And this is how music helped people maintain hope during the pandemic. An ordinary person can also make music because we all have emotions and problems that we can express songwriting. By doing so, we release negative energy from our bodies and feel relief. <clears throat> In line with the responses, the Metro Manila Popular Music Festival, or Metropop, a songwriting competition for amateurs and professionals, became the buffer for the creation of new pop songs and the introduction of emerging artists and performers in the late 1970s. Other local competitions encourage even more musicians and composers to create new music. The Likha Awit Pambata, a children's song, competition, the Kimik Awards, and the Cecil Awards are among them. Around this time, the organization or the Organisasyon ng Mga Pilipino Mga Awit or OPM was formed to meet the needs of Filipino popular artists. OPM also studied Filipino music, a term used to describe music composed and or performed by Filipinos, even if eventually include English lyrics. <clears throat> In addition, uh, Philippine music commemorates historical and personal events in our lives that give us reason to work hard and persevere more in life. Since music was composed and written with lots of emotions, it gives hope to many, especially during this hard time. We tend to listen to different genres and relate them to our lives. We encounter different artists who influence our lives in a good way, somewhat through the lyrics of their song. Music in general can be a powerful uplift of our hope during this time of difficulty and uncertainty. Music of social concern and cultural freedom, a force for social transformation. Alternative, protest, progressive, or people's music, for example, Joey Ayala's Wala Nang Tao sa Santa Filomena and Heber Bartolome's Tagulay Lai, is music for social criticism and cultural liberation. Since the American period, when socialistic ideas began to emerge in Filipino society, these genres of music has always been in the process of experimentation, change, and growth. It is currently being actively shaped by socially committed poet musicians who are consciously using songs as a force for social liberation advocacy of social justice and human rights struggle. It uses music as a tool for social criticism and change, addressing issues such as injustice and oppression, neocolonialism, cultural erosion as a result of globalization, indigenous people's plight, and other social causes. Music is used as a social critic and change agent as well as a vehicle for proposals for more humane attitudes and values, an equitable social order, cultural creativity and diversity, sustainable development, increased ecological awareness and alternative ideas and lifestyles. Asin, Patatag, Inang Laya, Herbert Bart Bartolome, Joey Ayala, Grace Nono, Contra Gapi, Pinikpikan, Buklod and most recently the Makiling Ensemble are among the well-known artists who have creatively contributed to this tradition. <clears throat> In the song Tenkoy with words by Romualdo Ramos, Nicanor Abelardo was musicians to compose music for social criticism. Tenkoy was written in the 1930s to sat satirize the first generation of Filipinos who began in superficial and ridiculous ways, often at the expense of their self-esteem and dignity. It was in inspired by Ken Koy, a bizarre character created by Tony Velasquez in 1926, who represents veneration without understanding. Let's listen to the music. Oh, 
of hope in the Philippine music. What is important for the Filipinos? What do Filipinos value at present? The National Commission for Culture and the Arts conducted this research as part of the government's Filipino values formation with the goal of determining different values upheld across the country so that Filipinos can continue to embody these values to strengthen Filipino society implementation in collaboration with educational institutions. The following are the 19 values that the Filipino people hold in common. Family, education, faith, health, and wellness, basic needs, self, work, life and purpose, human rights, environment, love, Kapwa, culture, arts, and sciences, excellence. Traditional Filipino values have remained consistent, family-centered, faith and virtue-based, sympathetic for others or kapwa, and education-oriented. Filipinos emphasize the importance of societal values such as good governance, patriotism, honesty, and integrity. Personal values include self-esteem, life and purpose, resilience, and happiness. As you can see, faith and resilience are mentioned, so it is natural for us Filipinos to value our spirituality and perseverance in relation to others and to our music. I also did a survey with my students on the topic being discussed and I am sharing the responses with you. In terms of faith or being religious, one of the characteristics of Philippine music is the same characteristics we have as Filipinos and one of them is being religious. This influenced the Filipino composer to write a song that will inspire many to keep fighting and never lose hope. Philippine music's uh, religious side is probably it's not its most and it portrays hope because Filipinos are religious. Our music may give us hope, particularly in this time of pandemics. Philippine music is mostly religious. It gives us hope and light in the midst of darkness. In terms of inspiration, the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope is that it inspires each Filipino to be connected 
with one another that we are not alone and that hope will always come through when we have each other to lean on. The music in the world amidst the pandemic is being used to create such a masterpiece to interpret the lives of people during the pandemic and to give hope, light, and happiness to those people that are constantly struggling to cope with the pandemic. In terms of communication, the connection, or message of the Philippine music, I believe as well as convey a message to them. Philippines bringing people together. It takes us through together and how we strive hard to overcome each obstacle that we have come across. In my own perception, the music industry gives hope to people amidst the pandemic, wherein it is used as entertainment to spend their time at home hence preventing boredom and possibly losing one's sanity as well. In terms of determination, I think the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope at this time is our pride. The pride of the Filipinos is evident since they are fighting for what is right for them to achieve a better outcome than what is happening. In terms of creation, the musicality and creative excellence, I think the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope is its quality content, that is to say the words, instruments, and other musical aspects. One of the most evident characteristics that Philippine music portrays is the, is the choral, where singers sing together as one group and create different varieties of sounds or tones. And in terms of position or its perspective, they provide us with more adequate, valuable, and alternative per perspectives in our lives, which will help us overcome any difficulties in life. Filipinos are extremely skilled, particularly in music, due to the way we show our passion, and we simply communicate that desire through the utilization of our philosophical view of life and experiences, which people can relate to. Filipinos use the essence of music to give or express hope within that boundary, whether it's in relation to victories or failures. So, in conclusion, clearly our musical traditions can reveal a lot about ourselves. As a matter of fact, learning about Filipino music cultures is the first step toward having a more complete and in-depth understanding of the Filipino people. More than a pandemic has afflicted our country, we have survived wars, political and economic up upheavals, and natural disasters. Nonetheless, as a nation, we have always covered, recovered, and survived. This pandemic has taught us many valuable life lessons. It has taught us to, con to consider the value of self, our health, and even the manner in which we select our leaders. Some may believe there is no hope left, but as we fight COVID-19, let us remember our two greatest jewels, our ultimate weapons in this pandemic. Faith and music unite our country. They are the souls that bind us together. They are the reason we will reinstate them as a single entity. That concludes my uh, lecture for this day, lecture series regarding Philippine music. These are my references. Thank you for the National Arts Month. Thank you very much, Mr. Almighty C. Tabuena, for a wonderfully in-depth discussion on Philippine music. I am sure that everyone, especially our Arroyans, have gained more knowledge and passion for our own pride in the field of music. For everyone that is still curious or may want to have a more detailed explanation about today's topic on Philippine music, may I call Ms. Abigail T. Untalan to initiate the open forum. Thank you.
thanking Sir Almighty for sharing your knowledge regarding Philippine music. It was a very insightful discussion indeed. So here are the questions we've prepared for you. The first question would be, how does Philippine music or music in general gives hope amidst the pandemic? How does Philippine music or music in general gives hope amidst the pandemic? The second question would be, what is the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays is the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope. The last one would be, what could be the factors that Filipinos are encountering in their daily lives to have these kinds of characteristics to their music? What could be the factors that Filipinos are encountering in their daily lives to have these kinds of characteristics to their music? How does Philippine music, or music in general, give hope amidst the pandemic? Philippine music comforts our souls. Our melodies do more than just distract our minds, which are already weighed down by the loss of a loved one or the loss of the job. Our music has evolved into a potent source of hope and pleasant memories. It reminds us that things will get better and that one day we will be able to return to normal. In general, as to my students' responses, Philippine music or music in general gives hope amidst the pandemic through its message, emotions, and influence, and the historical and personal events that inspire us to work hard and persevere more in life. What is the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope? For me, the most evident characteristic of Philippine music that portrays hope is faith. Faith in all contexts, whether as spirituality, individuality, or community. Other than faith, other characteristics include inspiration, connection, determination, creation, and position, which is its perspective to uplift our hope during this time of difficulty and uncertainty. What could be the factors that Filipinos are encountering in their daily lives that cause them to have these kinds of characteristics in their music? One of the factors is our historical connection, that is, the past and the present, in terms of our culture and tradition. As said before, Philippine music commemorates historical and personal events in our lives that give us reason to work hard and persevere more in life. Second, as mentioned, is our personal experiences. Our musical traditions can tell us a lot about who we are. This is the first step to having a better understanding of the Filipino music culture as well as the Filipino people. Thank you very much, Ma'am Udalan, for overseeing the open forum, and we hope your curious questions have been answered. Again, we would like to thank our speaker for today, Mr. Almighty Sita Buena, for sharing your time and knowledge with us today. So let us move on to our awarding of certificates. May I call Mr. Agusa Dibaldos, our revert Mapi Media Department head, to give these certificates. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Schools Division Office, Manila, Manuel G. Arroyo High School, MAPE Department, Top Avenue, Corner UN Avenue, Hermita, Manila. Certificate of Recognition is hereby awarded to Almighty C. Tabuena in grateful acknowledgement for his invaluable efforts and exemplary performance as a resource speaker on the topic entitled during the school celebration of National Arts Month 2022, given Manila, signed Mark Kevin F. Tenko, Master Teacher 2. Yours truly, Augusto de Baldos, Head Teacher 6, 
MAPE Department and our school principal, Ma Maria Eva S. Nacion. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Sir Baldos. And once again, thank you, Sir Dabuena, for sharing your knowledge on Philippine music. Now, to close out this program, may I call our program proponent and also one of our esteemed master teachers, Mr. Mark Kevin F. Tango, to deliver the closing remarks. For every supportive principal, Ms. Maria Eva S. Nacion, our assistant principal, Mr. Mark Hill Tabor, our encouraging MAPI department head, Mr. Augusto D. Baldos, MAPI teachers, fellow teachers, dearest our audience and parents, a pleasant afternoon. According to Alphonse de Alamar team, music is the literature of the heart. It commences where the speech ends. Music has the ability to communicate across borders. Though we have different languages, music can bind us together even in these difficult times. It suits us during our hard times and calms us when pressure gets tight around us. To our beloved lecturer, thank you for sharing your expertise. You clearly showed us that our very own music is beautiful, unique, and fascinating. May you continue to prosper in your chosen endeavor. Keep in sharing your fruitful, fruitful knowledge about music to others. To our dearest our audience, please use what you have learned today in your everyday life. May you find your artistic abilities useful every day. Continue to expand your learnings and reach your goals in life. Use the hashtag AroliansMakisini. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much, Sir Tengo, for the heartwarming message. As we start off our National Arts Month celebration with a topic that connects us all despite our individual differences, we continually want to thank everyone involved for helping executing a wonderful start to our month-long program for our dear Aurelians. Stay tuned for more of the lecture series and the other events of our celebration. Once again, this has been your MC, Ms. Juliana Alvarida, and thank you very much for joining us today. Stay safe always, and God bless. Padayon.